What's up you guys? Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. I'm sitting in Walmart's parking lot right now because I'm actually going to go in the store today and yes, I'm not, yes, no, no, yes, I'm not, whatever. I'm not going to do Walmart grocery pickup this week. They're probably going to think that I got killed or something because I'm here every week. I left my battery at home for my camera, so I'm going to have to film on my phone, even though my speaker is horrible. So I apologize if the audio is not 100%, but y'all love me anyway, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to share with you guys what we pick up to feed our family of five on a weekly basis. Um, our budget is slowly creeping up. I'm not happy about it, but grocery prices have extremely increased and it's just, it's not cute, but what are you going to do? We got to eat. So I'm going to share with you guys our meal plan when we get back home, share with you guys how we're going to use the groceries that we buy today. And if you're new here, Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I hope that you'll decide to subscribe and stick around. I share these grocery hauls on my channel every week on Sundays, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just hit the red subscribe button and all on notifications and you'll get all of my notifications every time I post a video here on YouTube. All right, you guys, I'm so happy you guys are here. Let's get on into the video. All right, you guys, we made it back home. I'm soaking wet. It started raining while I was in Walmart. And so, yeah, that was fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my meal plan up on the screen for you guys because I haven't written it on the fridge because I'm just slacking today. So let's go ahead and talk about the meal plan. All right, so you guys know, I always start my meal plan out on Saturdays. We're gonna do steak and baked potatoes. Sunday, we're gonna do the chicken enchiladas or it's called white chicken enchiladas. Monday is going to be a crock pot meal, tortellini pasta bake. Tuesday, I didn't do that taco alfredo, taco alfredo last week. So we're going to go ahead and do that this week since I still have the ingredients. Obviously, I didn't make it. Wednesday is usually every man for himself. We have jujitsu. And Thursday is going to be leftovers. Anything we have left in the refrigerator, we're just going to clean the fridge out and yeah, Friday night, kitchen is always closed. We're going to get something out. Alrighty, I did make a pit stop by Aldi, so I'll point those items out to you, but our <laughs> grocery total for this week's like $190. Ugh, it just makes me want to throw up to say that. <laughs> All right, I discovered that I have some salsa in the refrigerator that I didn't know I had, so I went ahead and picked up some tortilla chips for that and then I saw these and I was like, you know, I'm all about some new stuff, um, Club Crisps. They had sea salt and ranch flavored. So I figured we'd give those a try. Look what I found in all these, y'all. 
I swear, I probably like yelled. People were like looking at me because these are the best pretzels. The pub style Clancy pretzels. I cannot wait. I think that might be like my snack for today. And congratulations to me. I'm, I'm just winning over here today. I smushed my bread. Yes. You know what? It wasn't my fault. It was raining and I was trying to get stuff in the car quickly. So yeah, we'll blame it on that. <laughs> Went ahead and picked picked up some more romaine for sandwiches and I might try to put me together a salad this week. We got some more bananas here to throw in the fruit bowl and some gala apples. The honey crisp was like really expensive. That's what I really wanted, but I was like, I knew I was getting close on every on my money. So I was like, mm, we're gonna go with gala today. I got some flour tortillas because I used them all for our sheet pan quesadillas yesterday, so I needed some more. Walmart did not have the croissants that I got last week. It was like a four pack of them. They were a little pricey at Walmart, but I'm gonna tell you guys what, they were so soft and buttery and they were so good. But um, I got these at Aldi's this morning because Walmart was out of theirs. We like to make sandwiches out of those. And then I got two packs of extra sweet watermelon here. I have um, a neighbor <laughs> who comes over and she like is my lifesaver a lot of times at night. Um, I'm able to cook and stuff and she like take, takes care and holds Stevie and stuff for me. And I had my grocery list sitting out yesterday and so she wrote on their gum, like just being funny. So I picked her up a pack of gum just to be sweet because cause I'm extra. <laughs> but anyway, I got Hayden to pack two. Harrison don't have no business on no chewing gum because, you know, he's three. Um, I've got <laughs> a pack of cookies here. These came from Aldi's, um, you know, just to impulse buy. Hayden asked for these fudge dip chocolate chip um, granola bars. So I picked those up for him. I'll probably throw those in his lunchbox or whatever as a treat. And then I got some more mini muffins here. Um, strawberry shortcake. Got some fudge rounds. Here's a sweet treat. Applesauce. I'm surprised that Hayden is not getting tired of this, but he likes applesauce in his lunchbox. So I picked up those. Running out of Walmart's Easy Mac. That's just the easiest way to call it. So pick those up. We got some drink mixers here. Kind of running low. We had like a huge stash for such a long time. I got pink lemonade. Why is there such a shadow? I'm sorry, guys. I got pink lemonade. Blackberry lemonade, grape, and then I saw this one. I'd never seen it before, tropical limeade. I think that would be really good. Maybe if you put it in like a huge water bottle and mix it with a cherry one, then you'd have a cherry limeade. Yes, yes. <laughs> I went ahead and picked up two bottles of Hershey Simply Five for our chocolate milk. I got some canned foods today, you guys. Walmart's looking, looking pretty decent on their canned food aisle. I was pretty pleased. I got four cans of corn. I got two cans of green beans. I needed some green diced green chilies for the um, white chicken enchiladas that I'm making. I got two cans of pinto beans and two cans of great northern beans. My dad was over here the other day and he said that uh, sometimes if he doesn't know what, what else he wants to eat for dinner and he hasn't really, you know, prepared anything, that he will take a can of pinto beans and a can of great northern beans, make him some cornbread and, you know, boom, quick, quick easy meal on the on the fly. I uh, went ahead and picked up one can of mixed vegetables just to kind of throw in the stash and look what I found at all these. Oh my gosh, look what I found. They got their pumpkin back in stock. I told the lady at the desk at the checkout, I was like, you guys got pumpkin back in. She's like, yeah. She's like, everybody's been looking for it. They had quite a stash. So yeah, it was, it was delightful. I got a one pound of organic grass-fed ground beef here and that's for a recipe for this week. Um, sandwich meat. I saw this applewood smoked turkey breast. I've never seen this one in the Oscar Mayer natural so we're gonna try that for this week for our sandwiches. I got a big um, pack of chicken breast here. I saw these in the store and you know I don't get in the store very often so these may or may not be new. They're called colliders. They had, I probably showed you guys in the little um, opening clips, but, uh, I got the Rolo and the Reese ones. They had like, um, cookies and cream and I think something else. I can't remember. Anyway, y'all probably saw what y'all probably seen what I'm talking about. I got some more heavy whipping cream. I needed that for one recipe this week. I have some here, but I wasn't certain that I had enough. So I was like, eh, we'll just use it for something else if we need to. I got one big old pack of Colby Jack cheese here. I got 24 slices. They didn't have the 12, so, but we'll eat that. Ain't no big deal. Needed some more sour cream for a recipe this week. 
they didn't have the red can in the whip topping this week, so I went ahead and picked up the blue one. And then also picked up some more Duncan Extra Extra. This is like my favorite creamer ever. It's so good. I got the boys some more Danimals. Okay. So in the past, I have bought Danimals for the boys. Harrison like literally makes a huge whopping friggin' mess in the house with these things. I'm, you know, I don't really allow my kids to like run all over the house eating and stuff. I want to say like in the kitchen, dining room, this area here where we're at now. And Harrison is three, and sometimes he doesn't remember or listen or whatever. So I haven't bought these in a long time just because they make me really mad. <laughs> because they're messy. They're messy. Even whenever I just punch a little hole in the top and put a straw in there for Harrison, somehow or another he gets the lid off. He's a tiny, tiny terrorist. Okay. So we got some Monterey Jack and Parmesan and mozzarella. I believe I needed all three of these for... The white chicken enchiladas, I want to say. I got some of these Clawson sandwich slices here for sandwiches, obviously. I needed some cheese tortellini for a recipe that we're making, the crock pot one that I'm making this week. I can't remember what it's called now. And I've been wanting to try this. It's not got, not got any alcohol in it, but I don't know what makes it taste like Fireball. But they say, for a red hot kick, add Fireball whiskey. So we may or may not. We may just drink it like it is, but I like eggnog. Let me know down below. Do you do you like eggnog? Are you an eggnog person or no? I know it's a little early for eggnog, but whatever. I saw it and I wanted it. All right, let's talk about the drinks really quick. So back here in the back, I got a six pack of the twist ups here, and I got some more yoo-hoo's. Um, I'm probably gonna send those in Hayden's lunch box this week. Also. We got some Diet Pepsi. This was the only 24 pack that they had in Diet Pepsis at all in the whole store. I looked everywhere. And then I got a bottle of Twist Up. I got a bottle, uh, two bottles of Diet Pepsi. There's one and two. And then in the back, I got a, a bottle of Diet Dr. Thunder. Um, we've got some Sunny D here. And then I went ahead and got three gallons of milk. I don't know what happened with my milk at Walmart last week, but... The last gallon that I opened had a really funny taste to it, and Hayden will tell you right away if there's something wrong with the milk. So I went went by when I went by Aldi's, I went ahead and picked my milk up there. For lunchbox situations this week, I've got uh, 28 bags of Frito Lay tater chips. They didn't have any of the Great Value brand this week, or y'all know I would have grabbed that to save a dollar. <laughs> I've got 9,999 eggs here. No, Jeff um, has started, oh my God, my husband, he has started a diet. You know, men, they can lose 20 pounds in a week. It can make me sick. Um, anyway, he asked for eggs, so we already had some, but when he wants eggs, I got to get a lot of eggs. <laughs> I've got my thing of Vaseline lotion that I really like here. I like to put this on after I get out of the shower, and then we needed some more of these placards to floss our teeth and then Harrison I still put these on him at night just in case of an accident training pants and then look at this booger I got to give him a name I found him at Aldi's for $5.99 is that not a good deal he's so cute and he's like I don't know let me see how big he is he is at 24 inches so he is two feet tall he's cute I just hope Harrison doesn't tear him apart which he probably will and then last but not least Excuse all of my stuff. I ripped my child out of there and put her down for a nap. Um, we've got a big pack of water. I about forgot about this. I got these from Aldi's. Um, these are mini ice cream cones, chocolate, vanilla, and vanilla caramel. And then I also picked up a container of moose tracks. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today. Subscribe and stick around if you have not done so already. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.